what's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? Hi, it's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. I got another tutorial for you guys today. Um, we're going to be applying some patches on anything. I mean anything. But today, we're going to use hoodies, okay? I'm going to show you how to apply a patch to a hoodie without it being sewn on or without it having an iron on backing. But before we get into that, check out my intro. So check this out, y'all. I mean, now, I get these patches made all the time. And, uh, you know, I apply them to, like, blank hoodies, T-shirt, or, or whatever. But I don't do them myself. I got a tailor. So every time, you know, uh, I want to apply a patch like this. This is my see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil patch. If you guys have never seen that, there's nothing on the back of it. Okay, that's one. Got a DCYLP University patch. Boom, this thing is huge. It's like a dinner plate. There's nothing on the back of that either. Okay. And I have uh, my We Major, You, Me, Us, Chanel uh, patch as well. Nothing on the back of that either. So whenever I, I need to get these patches applied on like a hoodie or jacket or whatever or t t-shirt somebody want to buy something i gotta bring them to my tailor and my tailor charges me based off the size of the patch all right and then sometimes you know i gotta wait for him he might have other things going on you know uh, uh the, the time period might not be you know to my liking, I might need something like ASAP because a customer might need it ASAP. So I came up with something that I can use when my tailor isn't an option. And I'm gonna show you guys that today. All right, now I had to do a trial and error first, y'all. All right, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. All right, now I went and grabbed, I went and grabbed a cheap uh, Russell hoodie you know, from the local department store in my area. You know, something that I could, you know, test and, you know, not feel bad if, you know, I messed it up or whatever. But I bought this hoodie and I put the patch on it. I put my DCY University patch on it. I'm gonna get this to my son. Check it out. All right. See, it looks like that bad boy sewn on, don't it? But it's not. All right, look at it. See how tight it is? You see how tight that is? It looks like it's sewn on. Okay? But it's not. Now, I was doing some research and I found this adhesive. All right, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. The adhesive is called... Uh, 3M90 high strength contact adhesive. Okay, this he this is you know this is used for uh, you know plastic, laminate, concrete, metal, wood, and um, look, check it out. Got weights on there like metal. Like man, this stuff must be strong. If they using it with metal. I seen somebody put this on wood, right? And apply some hooks to the wood. And they picked up a full freaking can of, um, a full freaking can of gas. They picked it up. It didn't fall. So, this thing is pretty strong. This stuff is, you know, this adhesive is pretty strong. So I said, you know what? Let me try it out, man. 
and see if it will work with patches or cotton material. Okay, so check this out. I got the spray. Now I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna be applying this patch. Okay, I got a, I got a, I got another cheap hoodie. It's fifty percent cotton and it's fifty percent polyester. I picked it up when I picked that one up, just to show you guys. Do a test trial and error in case I gotta use this technique in the future. All right, now we're gonna go outside. We're gonna spray this stuff onto the back of this patch, and um, we're gonna apply it to a hoodie. All right, so let's go. Yo, now this is the back of the patch. We're gonna do two coats. We're gonna do, we're gonna do east and west, and we're gonna do north and south. All right, four inches away from the actual patch. Okay, that was the east and west. Now we're gonna do north and south. Okay, now we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. Now, since we're in a rush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to bring it inside, and I'm going to sit it underneath the heat press so it can get the heat off the heat press and make it cool faster, okay? Come on with me, y'all. Okay, now we're back inside. I just took the patch and um, I laid it on a piece of cardboard and laid it underneath the the heat press uh, to make it dry faster. And you gotta feel it, like use your knuckle. Once it feels tacky, that's when you know that it's ready to apply to, to whatever. All right, um, now if I was like applying this to like another piece of like, uh, like wood or something like that, I would have to apply, I would have to spray some on top of the wood too, but we're just doing this to uh, some cotton polyester blend, so. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, so now let me just set this to the side and get the sweatshirt ready. You know, once again, this is a cheap sweatshirt that I bought, you know, just for testing purposes. You know, that light gray, you know, little Russell joint, little 50% cotton and um, 50% polyester. Y'all know normally I always like to use 100% cotton, but you know, this is just for testing, okay? All right, now. Got that all set up. Let's just grab our patch, get it lined up. Just gonna pull away some of the little glue residue. Off camera, because I don't want it landing on top of the sweatshirt. All right. It's a little stringy. Okay, I'm almost done, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. I should have did it when it was still wet a little bit, but whatever. We'll be all right. I know it's gonna come out good. Now I'm doing this tutorial for y'all. So 
So if you're ever in a bind or a crunch like me, you know, you have something to fall back on, right? You never want to, I don't know how to sew. Well, I take that back. I do know how to sew, but I haven't sewn on a sewing machine in years. You know, my mother taught me how to sew years ago when I was a kid, but I haven't done it in so long. I haven't had a sewing machine in, in, uh, in so long. I can hand sew all day. But as far as me sewing on a sewing machine, I just, I'm just being, you know, honestly, I'm just being lazy. I feel like I don't have the time to sew on a sewing machine. You know, I'd rather just pay somebody to do it for me because I got other stuff going on or do what I'm doing now. I found a way to apply, you know, patches without being sewn. So once again, this is a game changer, y'all. Game changer alert, game changer alert. You know, rock with your boy, Mr. DCYLP. All right, y'all, now. Before I end this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up notification. Make sure y'all hit that bell. So every time I drop my latest content, you know, y'all don't miss nothing. I'm almost done with this, y'all. Y'all don't miss nothing. Alright? The channel's growing, y'all. I got the feeling in the, the next couple of weeks, I should be at, uh, 500 subscriptions you know that's something that I'm proud about I'm happy about you know that means that shows me that you know I'm putting out some good content that people want to watch or need to know you know we all got to learn something you should try you should you should uh aspire to learn something new every day Especially if it has anything to do with your brand. Alright? And that's what I'm here for. Okay? I'm almost done, y'all. Just want this to look perfect. You know? I'm a perfectionist. A.K.A. psychopath when it comes to my brand. You know? Alright. I got it. Okay. Got all of it. Okay. Almost. Couple more corners. Now, if this was the round image, it wouldn't take that long. But since it's got a lot of corners and stuff, the edges, it's taking a little longer. But it's going to come out fire, trust. go okay there's our patch okay we can move it around because it's not wet it's just tacky on the back it's not wet all right so we can move this around a little bit to set it to where we want it all right sorry about that I'm messing with the camera on y'all all right make sure the height is where I want it Good. I like this to go straight across. Okay. I didn't even change my temp. I didn't change my temp on my heat press. I left it exactly where it was from the last time I used it. It's putting out 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this down. I'm going to press this down, y'all. It was tacky. Alright, smooth it out. Smooth it out. 
And just by me doing this, it's already sticking a little bit. Just by me doing that, it's already sticking. Already. Already. Look at it. Can y'all tell? Can y'all tell in the camp through the camera? It's already sticking. That's it there. So we're gonna clamp this thing down. I'm gonna do it two times. <clears throat> Take a drink. Mm. All right. I'm just gonna apply. t-shirt over it real quick as I press it down and that's only because I can't find my Teflon sheet right now all right so slide that in more here we go y'all 15 seconds heavy pressure time y'all 15 seconds heavy pressure only because this isn't a transfer you know this is an actual patch we just need it for the heat all right now take that off that bad boy's on there okay look see it ain't moving. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't moving. All right? But we ain't done yet. We ain't done because we have to do the other side. So we just turn it inside out. Slide it out. Turn that bad boy inside out. And we're going to do it for 30 seconds inside out as well. Okay. Now I'm going to back the camera up Because y'all already seen how I apply I'm just going to back the camera up Because maybe y'all want to see me now Maybe y'all want to see how beautiful I am Alright Hold on So let's get this thing Turn the inside out and do the other side Make sure the strings aren't in the way. And this is where like so many of us go wrong, even when we have patches that are um, that have the iron on backing, you know, people might ask or people might say, oh, well, well, do you have to worry about that coming off? No, you don't have to worry about it coming off if you apply it the correct way, people. A lot of people don't apply things the correct way. You have to follow the instructions. OK, so we're gonna, we got this thing turned inside out. Like I said, we're going to do another 30 second application. Heavy pressure. Heavy pressure. All right. Y'all peep the hat. Y'all saw me make this hat. If y'all want one of these, hit the website up. Got them bad boys on the website right now for $12. Oh, the website. I'm offering free shipping right now, too. So go on the site. Put in what put in the cart what you want, and I ship it to you for free. Alright? 
That's that's till Sunday only. To Sunday only. After that, it's back to flat rate shipping. Another 30 seconds. So we're all set. Here's our hoodie. There's our hoodie. The patch. No sole. No sewing involved. That's bad way it's on there. Alright. It's on there. It ain't coming off, y'all. It ain't coming off. Alright. Let me try it on for y'all. So y'all can see how it look. See, I just bought it today. Y'all see the tag? I bought that joint today. Lil Russell. Lil Russell joint. I don't rock a Russell though, but whatever. I could already tell it's gonna mess up my black tea. But y'all think? Hmm? Y'all think that joint hard, man? Y'all think it look good? Hmm? Good. It's on there. It ain't going nowhere, y'all. ain't going nowhere. And I'll do a wash test, too, in the future. Let y'all know how it's holding up. So, as of right now, if you're looking for an alternative to going to your tailor or actually sewing on a pass to any garment, jacket, hoodie, uh, t-shirt, try the 3M High Strength 90. Uh, contact adhesive. I picked this up uh, from my local Home Depot, but I saw it on Amazon as well. I didn't feel like waiting to order from Amazon though, so I went down the street and picked it up from Home Depot. Just Google it and um, pick it up and try it out, man. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you'd rather go with this, the 3M um, contact adhesive compared to your regular standard iron-on backing or either, or either sewing, okay? Let me know. All right, um, until next time, like I always say, I hope you guys are working hard, getting your brands together. Um, tell your mama about me. Once again, if you want to cop anything from me, go to my website, www.directioncylp.com. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Till next time, choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.